Everything you need to know about Spider-Man. 4. Spider-Man 4 Potential Release. Date. While you subscribe to my channel, I also move on to the video. Spider-Man 4 has yet to be formally confirmed, but evidence indicate that Tom Holland will return as Peter Parker. The No Way Home sequel was stated to be in the very, very early stages of development in June 2023, before being impacted by the Hollywood strikes in 2023. Holland then gave a positive update on a new movie in December 2023. All I can say is that we have been actively engaging in conversations about what it could potentially look like for a fourth rendition of my character," he explained. Whether or not we can find a way to do justice to the character is another thing. Spider-Man 4 Potential Release Date Spider-Man 4 is reportedly in production, but no release date has been announced as of March 2024. Previously, there was a two-year gap between each Spider-Man movie in the MCU, but Spider-Man 4 didn't hit theaters until December 2023, so get ready for a longer wait. Sony does have a release date for an untitled Marvel movie on June 27, 2025, so that's a possible date for the return of Tom Holland's web slinger, but things would have to start get moving soon. Spider-Man 4 Cast Tom Holland said the following about his role. I don't know what the future of Spider-Man looks like. I don't know whether I'm going to be a part of it. Spider-Man will always live on in me. And I know that producer Amy Pascal and the studio are keen to figure out what the next chapter of Spider-Man looks like. If that happens to be with me, then that's very exciting. But, you know, if it's time for me to walk away, then I'll do so proudly. There's always the possibility that Holland could move into more of a mentor role for a new Spider-Man, but there are no teasers for that in no way home, so I can only speculate for now. Zendaya is returning as MJ. One of the reasons for the postponement of the third season of HBO's Sam Levinson's Euphoria is that Zendaya will be filming the Spider-Man movie first. As a result, there will be a bit of a time jump in the third season as Levinson shifts the series from high school to early adulthood. One person who definitely won't be in it is Marisa Tomei, as Aunt May is tragically killed by the Green Goblin. The multiverse does offer the possibility of an alternate Aunt May, like the alternate Spider-Man, but I feel this won't be done. It's also unlikely that Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire would return again to their roles, given that their brief but meaningful appearance in No Way Home is rectified as the plot reseals the multiverse up. Could we see Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock and Venom in the fourth movie? Spider-Man. No Way Home set up Holland's Peter Parker to come into contact with Venom, donning the black suit in a future movie. Venom. Let There Be Carnage's post credits scene introduced the concept of the symbiotes, all sharing a hive knowledge. Meaning that whenever the MCU Spider-Man comes into contact with the piece of Venom that stayed behind, Hardy's symbiote will be alerted. Spider-Man 4 might make the Spider-Man fight happen, with Hardy recently hyping up progress on the film, which is officially going through pre-production. Holland appeared in a small role in Venom, Let There Be Carnage, through a Daily Bugle report that Eddie Brock and Venom were watching on the television after the duo was transported to the MCU. Spider-Man, No Way Home, then revealed it was due to Holland's Peter Parker interfering with the multiverse. Venom 2's multiverse connection to the MCU Spider-Man ended with the anti-hero being sent back to his universe, while a small portion of Venom remained in the MCU, set up to connect with Holland's Spider-Man. Holland's reduced role is positive for the Venom franchise's future, as it builds anticipation for when his Spider-Man and Hardy's Venom face off. Production. Process of Spider-Man 4. On June 26, 2016, Sony Pictures Motion Picture Group Chairman Tom Rothman announced that Sony Pictures and Marvel Studios were committed to making more Spider-Man films after Spider-Man Homecoming. On August 20, 2019, Deadline reported that a fourth Spider-Man film was in development alongside Spider-Man No Way Home. On November 29, 2021, Amy Pascal confirmed that Sony Pictures and Marvel Studios were set to begin development on a fourth Spider-Man film. She revealed that more Spider-Man films starring Tom Holland and set within the Marvel Cinematic Universe would be developed 
and that the fourth Spider-Man film would be the first in a new trilogy. On December 18th, 2021, Kevin Feig officially confirmed that a fourth Spider-Man film was in active development. On December 21st, 2022, Sony Pictures Motion Picture Group Chairman and CEO Tom Rothman confirmed that the film was still in development. On February 14th, 2023, in an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Kevin Feige revealed that the film's story had been completed and that the writers were beginning to pen the film's script. On May 31st, 2023, in an interview with Variety, Amy Pascal revealed that the development of the film had been paused due to the 2023 Writers Guild of America strike and that the film would resume development after the strike was resolved. For now, no details about the story of the upcoming movie are known. At the end of the critically and commercially successful Spider-Man No Way Home, Peter Parker found himself in an unfamiliar world. Let's see what awaits us in the fourth movie.